So this is our probability mass function for the uh, random variable um, x, which is equivalent to the number of heads in three fair coin flips. And you've seen this before. This is, uh, we have four possible outcomes, zero, one, two, and three. These are the probabilities for each of these outcomes. And here we have the graphical representation of this probability mass function or the PMF. What we are now um, concerned about is the cumulative cumulative distribution function or in short uh, that is the uh, CDF so CDF okay um, we've uh, know how to calculate that so that is now a big P whereas that was a little P and we know that for all X so for all x smaller or equal than the first outcome, oh, actually, for all x smaller than zero, let's start with that. What will be that probability? Well, it's going to be zero. There is no chance that we get a um, that we get less than zero heads. Uh, makes sense. So then for x equals let's first firstly say equal to zero here we know the probability is one one over eight but that probability what for instance what if we asked what is and let's immediately start constructing that graphically okay, so we have a have our x here and here's our p of x, the CDF, okay, the CDF. So let me use a different color for, for the graph. So we said for everything, let's say, let's have zero here, one here, two here, three here. So we said for everything smaller than zero, the value is zero. So here, oops, the CDF here will be zero. And this is now the CDF is really defined for any value on the on the real line, not only for the four values which we are dealing with. Then we know it's one eighth uh, for and yeah, it's one eighth for x equals zero. Now all CDFs on the vertical axis will be between zero and one. Okay, so that was one eighth, that was 0 0.1 to five. Let's say that's somewhere around here. Okay, uh, yeah, that's about one eighth. Okay, so that value here was one eighth. So now, when is the next, when do we have the next value? Let me just continue that in red. Now, for x equals to one, it will be one eighth plus three eighths, okay? Because that is the probability that the outcome is either one or smaller. And that is either one over eight probability for zero or three over eight probability for uh, x equals one. So the sum of that is four eighths or a half. So at x equals one, the value will be here. Let me just make a little dot. Okay, so here, and then for x equals 2, that probability was the sum of these three, that was 7 eighths, and then for x equals 3, that was just 1, okay, because it was the sum of all of these probabilities. So at two, we having seven eighths, which is about here. Okay, so this is about seven eighths. And then at three, it is one. And then what, for instance, is the probability that x is four or five? Well, it's the, the probability, the cumulative distribution function, the big X. Well, it's still going to be one, because what's the probability that the outcome is smaller or equal to four 
Well, it's still a one, it's for certain in this case. And with five, it's also one. Or for 4,6 or 4.6, it's also one. So it's going to be a one everywhere here. So we already established a number of things. That cumulative distribution function starts with a zero to the left of all the outcomes, and it ends with a one from the last possible outcome onwards. But what in between? So we know a couple of three points here. We know this point, we know this point, and we know this point. What, for instance, about the probability that the x is smaller or equal to 1.5? Well, it's going to be the, exactly the same as the probability that x is smaller or equal to 1, because there is no possible outcomes in between here. So that probability so that should be a line all the way up to here. And the same here, what's the probability, for instance, that the outcome is smaller or equal to 0 0.6? Well, that's the same as the probability that the outcome is smaller or equal to zero. So in between here, we are also having this line. And in between here, we are having this line. So the cumulative density function for a discrete random variable will look like this. This is what we call a step function. Okay, and somehow you got to indicate so this line goes all the way to one, but does not sorry, but does not include one. So sometimes how we indicate that is by uh, drawing like a little circle here, and then a little circle here, the two, and a little circle here, the three. Okay, so this is our cumulative distribution function for this discrete random variable.